All right, welcome to the show, guys. Um, I'm doing a video here, and unfortunately, I am forced to hold the phone in my hand. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a, just a little shaky, but that's all right, because as I said before, in my opinion, no video is, uh, is worse than doing a video that's poor quality. Or another way of saying it would be, any video is better than no video. So even if it's a little shaky, um, I'm still going to do it because you know what? Worst case, I can always come back and I can make a new one and, and uh, post it later. So that is what I'm going to do. Adjusting the image quality here a little bit, trying to get it just a little bit better with the contrast. Okay, guys, welcome to the show. You know who it is. It's the one and only. It is Doug Habian. Douglas Habian. And my name on the screen says Dougie Fresh. Uh, tomorrow, that'll be different. Tomorrow, I'll be a loser. Today, I'll be fresh. You never know with me. So what I'm going to do in this video is we're going to do some Android stuff. And what you see here is I have a USB cable. Type C on both uh, ends here. Sorry for the poor quality and the, the contrast. I, I do apologize for that. Try to adjust that a little bit for you. There we go. Okay, so you see here, I got my laptop and then I have a cable type C on both ends and it's connected to my phone over here. This is a Google Pixel and this um, particular Google Pixel uh, I wiped the operating system from it and I put a custom ROM on there. So this is actually running Lineage, Lineage OS. Um, uh, some people might say this is a degoogled phone and that's actually not true. It's, it's, a, it's a, not a true statement. Um, it's pretty close to a Google, a degoogled phone, but um, there are other options that actually would get much closer to having absolutely no Google applications on it than this one. But still, this is a wonderful step in the right direction. I mean, do we really need uh, every single app and half the system apps on the phone running to be Google? Does your, does your dialer app really need to be Google? Your calendar, I mean, your, your file launcher, everything? No, it, it, it doesn't. Uh, so in fact, um, while I am talking about it, I can show you better than I can I can tell you and one thing you'll hear me say time and time again is that yeah I, I, I do I, I talk shit I do excuse my language you know I do I talk shit like uh like one of my favorite artists said little Boosie he said yeah, I talk that shit but I can back it up though so you know I say this stuff but you know I can back it up so let me let me show you what I'm talking about here uh obviously I have ADB running on, on this machine and even better is because I have this custom ROM on here and I've unlocked bootloader etc etc I actually also have rooted debugging running on this phone so if I go into the settings of the phone I will show you here go down here and I'm going to go into system developer options and most phones even though you can enable USB debugging uh, most phones are never going to have this second option you're, you're not going to have the option for rooted debugging that's because uh, I've unlocked a bootloader I've put a custom ROM on here and essentially it allows me to toggle that option on and off when I want and basically have a rooted phone when, whenever I want. So I'm going to show you uh, very quickly the difference here in that. Show you a couple things, okay? So, so if we go back to the screen, so I apologize for the shankiness and the poor quality. So I'll, I'll make a better one at a future point in time. And, and, uh, and then upload it again. 
see if I can get like a nice little stable position here so you can see it and so you can actually see what's happening. Okay, there we go. That should be good enough. Now, I'm typing with one hand, doing the best I can. I'm, I'm dedicated to this, so however I got to get it done, I'll get it done. All right, so basically, um, the Google thing. Now, I can type in a command here, ADB. I'm going to do a couple things, the rooted aspect and the Google thing. So ADB uh, shell is obviously, if I run that, let me make this just a little bit bigger for you. Okay. So hopefully that's, try to make that a little bigger. All right, that's, that's, hopefully that's better. Slide this up just a little bit more. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so I can run ADB shell and that allows me to shell into the system. You see the name of this phone, code name is Bramble, and then I can run commands like ls and I can see the file system. Okay, I can, if you understand Linux, Linux commands are going to function on this machine just like any other Linux machine. These phones are running Linux. Even iPhones are running Linux essentially. You know, it's, it's running uh, something that has been derived from Unix, but essentially it's going to be the same commands. So ifconfig uh, on a Linux system is going to give you information on the IP addresses and, and the network, ad network adapters configured on the system. And the same thing is going to apply on this system. Your, sta your same standard commands, PWD, present working directory, ls, I have config, all of this stuff, it's gonna apply. Then you have additional commands and, and so forth that pertain strictly to Android, you know, the Android packet manager, um, uh, package manager, I should say, is one of them. So I'm gonna exit back out of this shell. Now, I'm gonna kill the ADB server because I'm already running as root. So I wanna show you how this how this works. All right, so I'm gonna kill the ADB server. And then I'm gonna run ADB devices again. And when I do this, it should stall for a second and then over on the screen of my phone, you'll get uh, some RSA key pairs that pop up that I need to accept for USB debugging. So I run this and on the screen you see allow USB debugging with RSA key pair. I click allow and the way it happens, the timing of it, it'll actually still say it's unauthorized on the screen. Um, but if you run it again, you'll see that the that device is now attached. So now I can um, use ADB and shell into the phone. Now, when I do that, you are going to see that I'm actually still root. Let me go back into the settings of this phone and just do this the easy way. This is live. I'm going to run into mistakes, you know, and we're just going to get through them in real time, live together. I'm not editing these. If they're poor quality, they're poor quality. If I say something and I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Um, that's just the way this is going to go. So... In real life, if you were doing this, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to fumble things, and that's how this is going to go. I'm going to turn off rooted debugging on the phone to make this uh, easier to explain. Now, let me clear the screen, and I'm going to kill the server again. ADB kill server. Now I'm going to do ADB devices again. And same thing, we're going to get a prompt asking us for uh, asking us to accept the RSA fingerprint and allow USB debugging and I click OK. Once again it does say unauthorized over here but that's just a timing thing when the commands are ran. If we run ADB devices again we will see the device is attached. Now I'm going to shell back into the device ADB shell and now we see we're in the device. I can list the directories at the high, uh, highest level um, 
listing the name names of the various directories and so forth. But what I want you to pay attention to is look at the very first symbol after Bramble, and you see a dollar sign. And if you know anything about Linux, you know what that dollar sign means. You know that's that is uh, telling you that you have a non-root shell. We are in here as a non-root uh, user. If I type who am I, we will get back that I am shell. Now to show you this, I'll actually, just like on a Linux file system, on any other Linux distribution, I will cat out the contents of the Etsy password uh, file. And in this case, we, we don't get anything. So it does exist. Maybe it's in a different location. Okay. Um, let's do ID. If I run ID, well, there we go. Just like on any other Linux system, we do get the user IDs. Um, and you don't see anything that is suggesting that, you're, that you are root or have, have uh, root access. We can very quickly find some files or directories on here that you would need to have root access or root permissions in order to get into. You got to realize how much data is on a phone, how much you're doing on your phone. You know, it is a big deal to be able to get root access to, to these devices. Um, apps, all the apps that you're running on these phones, you can't see the majority of what they're doing. You can't see the majority of what uh, data is being stored in your phone's file system unless you're able to gain root access. Uh, so let's see here. Let's find something. Uh, let me ls in the data directory. Uh, forgive me because I'm typing with one hand. This is not easy. I am making lots, lots of mistakes and then making them live. So if I ls the data directory, there we go. You see uh, permission denied. It's because we do not have root access. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to type ls-l. And we get a top-level listing uh, of our parent directories. System, config, data mirror, data. And you see a bunch of them that have question marks next to them. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to clear the screen. Remember that data directory that we could not access. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to exit out of the shell. I'm going to go back on the phone. Off, off camera, I'm back on my phone. I'm going to go back into those settings. And I'm going to enable rooted debugging. All right. 